In 1760, Abbe de la Paix founded the first school for the deaf, where signs were used and the standardization of the language began. In 1880, the Congress of Milan forced LSF to go underground as it was forbidden in classrooms and in any official situations. LSF, unfortunately, didn't resurface publicly in France until the 1980s in which there was a renewed interest in sign languages in the West. A law passed in 1991 gave the parents of deaf children the choice between bilingual French or LSF education and oral French education. However, until 2008, the recommendations published by the Minister de la Education Nationale remained extremely cautious about the use of LSF in the education of the deaf. In 2005, the Loi pour les Handicaps was passed, which recognized LSF as a language and gave the right to LSF interpretation services. LSF acquired the official status of language and bilingual classes opened in many areas of France. However, most hearing parents of deaf children favor an oral education, especially with the generalization of the use of cute speech in the late 1980s, and now the cochlear implants recommended early for most deaf children by medical terms. France does not have a definite deaf education policy, but rather allows, theoretically at least, the children to choose between the two main philosophies of education, oral, with or without cued speech, and bilingualism. As social representation for the deaf in France and Switzerland are still predominantly medical, deafness continues to be viewed as a handicap or disability today in France. Deaf people can receive a pension from Social Security if they are not able to work or to find employment in France. Today, an estimated 100,000 people use LSF in areas of France, as well as the French-speaking regions of Switzerland. As French Sign Language is a predecessor to ASL, there are many similarities between the fingerspelling alphabets and the syntax of the languages. As seen in the side-by-side -side comparison, the LSF alphabet has more letters which include movement, such as P and Q. Much like ASL, LSF follows the signing parameters of hand shape, movement, location, and orientation. However, facial expression is still not officially considered a parameter of LSF. Unlike ASL, LSF has no agent or person marker to differentiate between signs such as steal versus thief. 